Let's divide and let's just start moving across the dividend. Can I divide 69 into 5? No. What about 69 into 52? No. So we'll work with 69 into 528. Approximately how many times will that go? Round this to 70 and think of this as 500, maybe 530. I know 7 times 70 is 490 and 8 times 70 is 560, too much, so I'll try 7 times. And now let's multiply. 7 times 9 is 63, carry the 6. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 6 is 48, and we will subtract. That's 5, and then if you subtract, you'll have 4. Bring down the next digit, that would be 9. And now let's continue the process. Well, I know 7 times 69 is 483, and that would then be too much since I only have 459, so let's try 6 times. And now let's multiply 6 times 69. 6 times 9 is 54, carry the 5. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 5 is 41. Let's subtract, that's 5, and 5 minus 1 is 4, and then let's bring down the 6. Now, by the way, notice my difference here was less than my divisor so that I was okay and 6 actually was correct. Since I have 456 close to 459, let's try 6 again, and we know 6 times 69 is again 414. Let's subtract, that's 2, and that's Four. That is my remainder. Notice again, this is less than this, so I know that I wouldn't have 7 here. I know 6 is indeed correct in this place. And so at 766, remainder 42. How do you check? Multiply 69 times 766 and add to that 42. You should get 52,896.